many ways. Something else that makes Finn Balor's coup de grace so dangerous is that no matter how big you are, strong you are, or how quick you are, Balor can land it on anyone. And when he does, it's over. Bray Wyatt drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Victory is on the horizon. That should do it, Cole. There's no coming back from a slam of that magnitude. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of it. Bray Wyatt may get this, folks. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. There's a certain feeling that comes over the combatants in a steel cage match once they hear the door close and see the official lock it. A superstar must know that their body is going to be thrown against the steel, that their face will most likely be raked across the cage, and that anything is legal in this environment. Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. You spoke about this earlier, Corey. It's crucial for a WWE superstar to fully understand the gravity of the situation they're in when they battle inside a 15-foot-high steel cage. An individual must be ready to endure pure brutality and be prepared for the fight of their life. No one leaves a steel cage match without scars. Corey, you said something of value for once, and that anything is legal inside the steel cage. To that point, something else we've seen over the years is interference. Whether it's The Undertaker coming up through the ring or John Cena getting back. Here we go. Bray Wyatt setting it up. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. Here's his moment, Michael. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on. Let's go. <laughs> As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Some great offense by Finn Balor. The best way to describe combatants clashing inside a steel cage is its battle of attrition. Sometimes a superstar is left with no choice but to fight fire with fire and do whatever they need to do in order to win the match. And sometimes it comes down to a superstar doing whatever they need to do in order to survive. Byron, you touched on this earlier, but it's so important for a superstar to accept that there's nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in a steel cage match. That the conflict will be resolved. Look at Finn Balor making his moves. Down 19-16. But can he follow up here? Did you guys feel that? Looking for all the glory here. Two. Plenty of fight left. Come on. Did you really think that was enough to take out of Wyatt? When this guy's on, look out. Seems to be guys like this moments away from seeing the finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. And there's his speed paying off. Look out, there he goes. Knocked right off his feet. The 
finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drops, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that one. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. We know Finn Balor has gained a huge following. Finn Balor is in position. Team 16. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Got the shoulders down. Two. He's got to do more damage before he can get a three count. And the Wyatt family continues to show why they're legends. Oh, here we go. Michael, forget about Finn gaining his fans after the match. Judging by this crowd, Balor looking to end it. He's in control. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. This Bray Wyatt really creeps me out. I'm the eater of world. Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. A high-risk maneuver and it works from that top turnbuckle. Look at this! Look at Finn Balor here. Knee drop! That was nasty. So precise. Looks like he's pinpointing the back. And look at the quickness by Wyatt! Sure, clothesline! Oh boy, he is rolling. ceases to amaze me. And now Finn Balor heads up. Let's creep in of what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. That'll have you worrying about long-term injuries for sure. Can he score the pin? And he got a near fall out of it. Oh, that was close. for the kill. I'll tell you, the cage has absolutely beaten down these superstars. Sister Abigail! Things are about as bad as they could possibly... Shoulders on the back. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. 